Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the common issues that occur when you're trying to run distance learning Zoom meetings with students. One of the main issues is attendance and trying to get the students to actually show up to the Zoom meeting. Let's take a look at some of the features that Zoom offers that allows you to send reminders to students about a meeting that's happening now or a meeting that's coming up in the future. So let's say you're in a Zoom meeting and you're waiting for students to arrive and maybe there's certain students that really have attendance issues and they just don't tend to show up. What can you do about that? There are some features here. If you go down to where it says participants and you click on the up arrow in participants, you'll see the invite button. Also, you can see it says Alt plus I will also bring up this invite panel. So once you get to this invite screen, you're going to see immediately you'll have contacts there within the Fleetwood Area School District. So these are registered email addresses that are authenticated. And you also see, if you look close, there's a symbol that goes along with each person's name. So in that symbol, you're going to be able to tell some information about what their current status is. So if you see a circle that's not colored in at all, that person is offline and not currently in Zoom or does not currently have Zoom open on their computer. If you see a circle that is colored in with a dark green circle, that means that they are currently logged into Zoom on their computer and their computer is, is on. If you see a symbol that is a red movie camera, that means that that person is currently in a Zoom meeting. Okay, so what I did is I pulled up a demo student and this demo student is currently online and I have the student's Chromebook right here and I'm logged in as that demo student right now into Zoom and Zoom is open. So if the student's on their Chromebook and they have the Zoom program open, they're logged in, you should see a green symbol, that green filled in circle next to the student's name. So what I can do is I can click on that student's name and now down here in the lower right hand corner, a blue invite button is activated and I can click invite. When I do that, over here you can see it does send an alert to the student and the student now can join the meeting right from this accept. So if I click on this accept as the student, it will connect me to the meeting. Now I'm back at my Zoom meeting, I can see that the middle school student is waiting, I can hit admit, and there I've entered. So that alert can let the student go right into your meeting, and that's a quick way to say, hey, you're forgetting that we have a meeting right now, I see you're online, maybe you just forgot, here's an alert, this will get you in. So the alert I just showed you only works if a student has their computer open, they have Zoom open, and they're logged into Zoom. In this case right now, the Chromebook's open, but the Zoom program is not open. So if the Zoom program's not open, even though they're logged in, it shows up that they are not active, they're not on Zoom. So if I choose this right here, if I go to choose this, and I say invite, on the student's computer, nothing happens. So you're not going to get any kind of alert pop up to the student because they don't have Zoom open. Just be aware that there is a delay sometimes between the time a student signs out of Zoom or closes Zoom and the status symbol. So right here it's showing that the student is online, so I might think as a teacher, oh, they have Zoom open and their computer's open, they're logged in, but actually they have Zoom right here closed and so even if I go and hit the invite here it'll say it's the students being invited right here it says the student has been invited the student computer nothing happens it may take a few minutes for that green circle to go away even though the student doesn't have zoom open if the student still isn't responding another way you can try is to click on email and then you can go right here to default email then you have your email with all the information for that meeting and then you can type in those student email addresses here to those students that aren't showing up. That will go right to their Gmail account and then hopefully if they see that, that would remind them that there was a meeting taking place. Alright, well hopefully that gave you some new ways to try to connect to those students who have a hard time showing up to your Zoom meetings. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.